Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how Hurricane Melissa has rapidly intensified into a Category 4 storm and how its growing power and path toward Jamaica could unleash devastating winds, torrential rains, and chaos across the Caribbean. Hurricane Melissa, already a major Category 4 storm, gathered steam Sunday as it took aim at Jamaica and other parts of the Caribbean, with forecasters predicting catastrophic flooding and urging residents to seek shelter immediately. Melissa has already been blamed for at least four deaths in Haiti and the Dominican Republic this week, as its outer bands brought heavy rains and landslides. The storm is moving at a worryingly slow pace, just three miles an hour, which has meteorologists concerned that it will dump punishing rains on countries in its path for far longer than a storm that passes by more quickly. The U.S. National Hurricane Center, or NHC, said that Melissa was packing maximum winds of about 140 miles per hour and would likely intensify into a top-level Category 5 storm later Sunday. Up to 40 inches of rainfall could hit parts of Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, sparking flash flooding and more landslides. This extreme rainfall potential, owing to the slow motion, is going to create a catastrophic event here for Jamaica, NHC Deputy Director Jamie Rome said in a webcast briefing. You need to just be wherever you're going to be and be ready to ride this out for several days, Rome said. Conditions will deteriorate really, really rapidly here in the next few hours. Don't be out and about after sunset. A 79-year-old man was found dead in the Dominican Republic after being swept away in a stream, local officials said Saturday. A 13-year-old boy was missing. In neighboring Haiti, the Civil Protection Agency reported the deaths of three people caused by storm conditions. You feel powerless, unable to do anything, just run away and leave everything behind. Angelita Francisco, a 66-year-old homemaker who fled her neighborhood in the Dominican Republic, told AFP through tears. Floodwater had inundated her house, causing her refrigerator to float away as trash bobbed around the home. Seek shelter now, the NHC advised residents of Jamaica. Damaging winds and heavy rainfall today and on Monday will cause catastrophic and life-threatening flash flooding and numerous landslides before the strongest winds arrive. The international airport in Kingston closed late Saturday to incoming and departing flights, Jamaican Transport Minister Darrell Vaz said. Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness advised fishermen to Remain in safe harbour. The Jamaica Information Service, a government agency, said that all seaports had been closed. Melissa was expected to make landfall in Jamaica and then again in southeastern Cuba. At 1500 GMT, the hurricane was located about 110 miles south of Kingston and 280 miles south-southwest of Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. The Dominican Republic's Emergency Operations Center has placed nine of 31 provinces on red alert due to risk of flash floods, rising rivers, and landslides. Melissa is the 13th named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from early June to late November. The last major hurricane to impact Jamaica was Beryl in early July 2024, an abnormally strong storm for the time of year. Beryl brought downpours and strong winds to Jamaica as it moved past the island's southern coast, leaving at least four people dead. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned. Stay.